we'd like to welcome you to another edition of Rick Davis Talking Gold. We'll have some things that hopefully are helpful to you and, and are entertaining and a little bit of fun mixed along the way, so stay tuned. Need some extra spending money for the holidays? With gold at the highest it has ever been during Christmas, there's no easier way to turn your unused gold into quick spending money than Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds. During the holiday season, even Santa sometimes needs a little help. Ho, 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 Rick Davis, gold and diamonds, buying gold all day, every day. How does Rick Davis see hundreds of people every day and nobody waits over 15 minutes? It's simply the system. Check in with the Golden Girls first. They divide your jewelry into plastic bins. Next, wait for your number to be called. This may be my favorite part because it is never a long wait and it gives me the opportunity to look around the showroom. Then, when my number is called, I get to see Rick or Jason. Both of them are great. They give me a value on my items and I decide if I want to sell it or not. Of course, I always do because Rick pays the best. Last, I sign out with Miss Norma. She is really a gem and I'm on my way. I always have a great time with Rick and his friendly staff. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Stop in and see Rick and his friendly, experienced staff at 5301 Brainerd Road in Chattanooga. While there, be sure to mention that you saw this ad on the CW and receive your CW special. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, Chattanooga's premier jewelry store. What do you want me to bring you for Christmas this year? I would like a scooter that shoots sparks, and I would like a DS, and a football, a basketball, a baseball, some diamond earrings, Xbox 360, a laptop, a go-kart, a ring and a necklace, a motorcycle, golf clubs, a cappuccino machine. Even Santa needs a little help during the Christmas season. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, buying gold all day, every day. We'd like to invite you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road, where we have an incredibly friendly staff, a very educated staff, and we're there to serve you and answer your questions. So please stop by and get to know us a little bit better, because we are your friend in the jewelry business. Million dollars. One million dollars today only, for you cash. No checks, got to be cash and, and one dollar bills. If I give you a real special price, will you scream and holler and everything for the camera and so we can get some hoopity doo going here? Hoopity doo, I sound like my granddaddy. You would, exp you would pick out the most expensive thing in the store. That is platinum. It is 1.7 carats. It was $16,000. Was the original appraisal on it $16,490? I will sell you that for oh, It's not going to hurt you. It'll uh, it'll surprise you. I'll sell that to you for $3,200. 3200. You'd pay that for a, you'd pay that for a little stone at a at a most of the mall stores. Oh yeah. And I mean that's a gorgeous stone. You can look at it with a loop. I put it under a microscope. It has nothing in it. It's gorgeous. Number nineteen. What kind of price range are you wanting to get in? some things it's a carrot carrot and a half in weight uh -huh. total weight and yeah. smaller stones don't yeah. put it all in one big yeah. stone we got some real big showy pieces right in here Kathy on that bar there's some real showy pieces in there that's gonna run her 900 thousand 1200 how are you 
understood. Wishing I was 19 again. I liked 19. <laughs> I did too. I had, a, I had quite a time when I was 19. Yeah, it really, really. That's a funny thing about that. And thought I was having it tough back then. Where are you from? Dayton. Dayton, Monkey Town. My family's from there. Mm -hmm. Blythe Ferry, Five Points. You know any of the Potters or the Corvins up there? No, Corvins. Corvins. Uh, Tony, Vera, and Jimmy Corvin. Do you really? That's my cousins. I know. That old farm up there was, I was supposed to get part of it if I would ever, I could get an acre. The wheel read something about an acre. But I had to, I had to build a home on it and move to Dayton for a year to get it. And I thought, I can't do that. I can't drive, you know, it's just, and I still love Dayton. I like to drive up through, I miss the ferry. We were just talking about ferry. My son and I went to Athens this weekend and he said there really was a ferry that went across. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the Stone Age. Yeah. And yeah. I said, honey, when I was in high school, football games crossed the river. Yeah. You know, yeah. You had to hit it before dark. That's it. You know, my Sunday drive was going to Dayton. And just, I mean, it's an hour drive from Chattanooga, an hour and 15 minutes, but drive up and stop at the old Dead Rat. I know you don't remember the Dead Rat. Uh -huh. little, old, little old place on the side of the 27, right before you got to Dayton where the old dirt road turned off. It went back to Bly's Ferry. Okay. And we'd stop there and get a Coke and a pack of peanuts or something. Yeah. Going up and middle around up in Dayton and my uncles and all the relatives up there. We'd stop and see them. There we go and we'd get on the ferry and go across and come back down Highway 58 and back home. Nice yeah, and I still done it up until, what, five years ago when they closed it down. It was. My daddy sold Cokes on the courthouse lawn during the monkey trial, you know, during the evolution trial, they sure did. Yeah, I would say so. I've been gone, our old cabin burned in 1961 that was on the property up there and nobody ever replaced it. My dad and I went up as a kid with him and when he put the old cover on the well out there, you know, just trying to keep anybody from Hunters out in the woods falling in it. Mm -hmm. This piece right there is the one piece that is very, very little in value. That's $4. Okay. Uh, it's sterling silver. It's very cute. Yeah. It's nice. You can re-gift it. It probably costs $12, $15 in stores. I'd re-gift it as a gift okay. rather than selling it for scrap. Okay. If we keep that off of there, you walk with $340. How did I know you was going to say that? <laughs> hey, that's just junk to get rid of. Right there. A little extra spending Less money. That's it. You would be surprised at how many ladies come in and what they actually get as far as just cleaning out their jewelry box. Well, and that's exactly what I did. So. 320, 40. Thank you, sir. And a Merry Christmas Same. and a Happy New Year. Good Thank evening. you for coming. Bye bye. Keep dating straight up there since I can't be up I there no more. <laughs> I bet I you do. <laughs> you got that meanness in your eyes. Sign out Mr. Lawson over there for me and keep us legal. Have a great holiday, dear. What you got, Kathy? Another balloon. Another balloon? Bling. Oh, bling. Are you going to sell her anything? I'm trying. Well, you got a good eye, girl. No, I mean, it's not, this is in your price range, but I mean, this is beautiful. That, the stones in there, the qualities, that was, that ring was 3,600. And I'll do that ring at $1,000 for you. That ring was on sale at 1,500 Christmas or Thanksgiving weekend. So that's giving you a little bit better deal than even what we've done before. I was going to find that out. All right, let's see what you got. You know, it's not diamonds. It's just cubic zirconium. And the center stone is just colored glass. So aside from all you're going to get is scrap gold. Yeah. Uh, but if you like it. 
Oh, I would love to have it fixed, but it's, it's yeah. Christmas time, so. Well, I was just going to say to you, I'll give you, there's $42 worth of scrap gold in it. I'll give, I'll pay $40 for it. Or for $12, you can get it fixed. So, you know, um, and that's a little special price, so. Okay. I understand. And if you'll keep in touch with us and keep coming in, I get these in quite frequently, that, that look. Yeah. And um, it may not be exactly the baguettes, but I get them in. $42 in metal, I'd put it out at 60 If you said, Rick, I sold you something like that, I'd sell it back to you for $50. So just watch them, you know, and, and let me know if there's something in there. Just remind me, I, I bought one from you, and I'll, I'll repay the favor after the holidays. Thank you. Sign out with David over there. Have a Merry Christmas. How you doing? Fine, how are you? Good. You got two things, you want to keep that separate? Yeah, or is that, oh, that's the box that came in? Thank you, girls. Thank you. Have a nice Christmas. Ten carat. It's got diamonds in it. Diamonds, gold, and everything is $55. Now, if you bought this retail, $55, turns into probably $199 sale price in the store. Just because you have a diamond missing, they're very small, diamonds are not bringing a lot of money right now. There's a million dollars worth of diamonds in that bag. Okay. The little stones, they don't sell. Okay. I will give you a diamond if you're selling this because your diamond's missing. I'll give you the diamond to go back in it, no charge. You gotta pay $12 to have it set. That's what the jeweler charges to set it, but you can put that back in brand new condition for 12 bucks. So if you're only selling it because it's got a diamond missing, I'll help you out there and that'll keep you from having to sell it. And if it's just something you don't wear anymore, I'll yeah. give fifty-five for the for the ring. Okay, that's okay. You want to sell it? No, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. You want to put the diamond back in it? I mean, is it something no you'd color. wear? What well, cost you twelve dollars? Okay. I'll give you the diamond. David will write up the ticket. The diamond's absolutely free, and then I'm just charging you the twelve bucks labor to set it. That's for setting it back in that spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. He'll write you a ticket up right there behind you. Oh. Right there. There you. Good. I don't know how to get it out of there. How long have you had that? <clears throat> I've had it almost 30 years. Do you got old coins like big nickels? Mm -hmm. Anything that's got to do with gold, silver, diamonds, or coins, we buy it. Hello. It says here you got a $705 coin. And I think I've got to agree with it, so I will pay $605 on it. If that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. Sorry it took so long to do that, but I wanted to be sure what I was doing. And I apologize for this money, it's brand new. I just printed it. That's what's wrong with our economy now. I think we just print some of this when we need it. There's the five. I think that's six, but we'll make sure. <laughs> exactly six. I thank you very much. You have a Merry Christmas. Come on in here.
What do you say, guys? You pick a bad day. <laughs> hey, you're all right. That's an old piece, isn't it? 1971. Huh? 1971. Is that when it was? Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't that old if it's a 71 model. Then it's got a date on it, doesn't it? <laughs> was it a grocery store? What is this? No, no, no. It's a state in Mexico. Oh, is it? Yeah. What carrot is it? That, I don't know. It looks to be 18 carat. I'm going to have one of my girls test it. They didn't test it up there. It could have a... It could be 14 carat and have an 18 carat wash on it. It's definitely gold, so I think you've got, I'll tell you what you've got between. You've got a high of $400, and if it only checks out lower carat, which I don't think it will, uh, $300, so between three and $400 here. This piece right here is gonna be, um, you got $21 there in scrap silver, 21. I'll save the silver then. Okay. I'm gonna get them to test this, David. Test that and see if it eats up 18 karat acid, if it'll stay good or not. I want it to be 18 karat, but I can't wish it to be that. I want it to be 18 too. Huh? Me too. Yeah, you do. If it is 18 karat, I don't mind paying you for it, but if it's not, I don't want to pay you for something I can't get back out of. Fair enough. We'll make sure here in just a minute. Pitch it up and turn the green. Eats it up and turns green on 18 gear? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it turned green and it completely disappeared. Quick. Yeah, real quick. That ain't good. We don't want to hear that. Can they bring, can they bring it up and let you look No, there? take it back there and get Dura to test it Let's with the uh, straight nitrate. Okay. Tell Dura to test it with 14 and then take it down to 10 and see if it'll stay. But tell him to test it good. It what you got? It holds up under 14. It holds up? Under 14. Okay. $310, bro. Every little bit's a help. <laughs> That's going to be about three there. There's three of it. Three ten. Thank you. Sign out with uh, David over there for me. Break away for a couple of minutes and have a commercial break. But we'd like to invite you to 5301 Brainerd Road. Stop by and see us. Ask us some questions. Look around. Just make yourself at home. We want you to feel comfortable with us at the store as well as on television. So we hope you return more often. Merry Christmas from Rick Davis Golden Diamonds. In the store, a customer is selling Rick their unused jewelry for some extra cash for the holidays. I want the kids to have their best Christmas ever. I just need a little extra help to get me through the holidays. Well, as always, Santa, you come to the right place. Ho, ho, ho. I knew I could count on you, Rick Davis. During the holiday season, even Santa sometimes needs a little help. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds. Buying gold all day, every day.
I know we're not the only one buying gold in this area, but we are the number one buyer of gold in this area. We want to be your friend in the jewelry business. We want your business. Thank you and God bless. For up to the minute prices on gold, silver, or platinum, visit Rick's website at www.rickdavisgoldandiamonds.com. While there, look for Rick's specials to take advantage of. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. This is a segment that was pre recorded from our show on Night Talk. We have inserts and people call in and ask questions, and we try to answer them on the spot. So if you'll view the show tonight, it'll answer some of your questions. If not, feel free to check us out at 5301 Brainerd Road. We're Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, and we're your friend in the jewelry business for over 35 years. Thank you, and God bless. All right, we got a caller over here. You got a question for Rick? I do. Okay, go ahead. Um, I've got some silver dollars, and I know you've explained this before, but I just found these. They are 1971, 76, 78, so forth. How much are they worth? Well, they're worth a dollar if you can take them to the grocery store. Those are those are Ike dollars, Eisenhower dollars. Uh huh. And they're they're just there's no silver in them unless you got lucky and found a 1970 or 71 that was in a proof set. There are no Ike dollars out there that have any silver in them, so you can just spend them. You can feel feel good about spending them. Okay. All right. What about a Kennedy Ike dollar that has 1776 dice, 1976 on it? That's a bicentennial dollar, and it has absolutely no value of silver in it, no collectible value, unless it's in a, a mint sealed mint set. Okay. Okay. Let, let me ask you something else. I don't understand. But now, when people bring this, these things into you, where do you take them to? And where do you get all this money? <laughs> we, we have to keep, uh, that's what we were just talking about. We have to keep it flowing. We have to keep rolling it in order that every day has to keep going to fund the next day. Um, you know, we sell directly to the smelters in New York, or we'll sell to... Uh, Handy and Harmon, or we'll sell to Dallas Gold, or, you know, I mean, it's whoever's going to bid the most is the way we move it. But we have to be as... How do you get it there? Beg your pardon? How do you get it to these people? Well, I can't tell you that. Then be, you'd be following my little truck around. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, we ship, usually we ship FedEx. I mean, FedEx does a tremendous job. Uh, we had a, we've got accounts with FedEx. We've got insurance with FedEx that backs all of our shipments. Uh, you know, we have you have very little trouble losing metal. That's not any of the problems. It's just the cost to get it there. Uh, we had the deal the other day that you may have heard part of it on there. It was a $15 million deal that we was trying to work out through Texas and, and get it handled for a man out of Cleveland. His shipping charge, just shipping and insurance on this bullion deal was $65,000. The shipping was 65. Just the shipping. The shipping alone was $65,000. And, you know, we was, at first we started thinking about uh, renting a motor home and just having a couple of guards and send them out there with it on a trip. And that wasn't feasible because that much silver would bust the chassis on, a, on the average motor home half and two. You can't even carry it on one motor home. So you have to go Brinks or... FedEx or somebody that's got big super equipment to move that kind of merchandise. Okay, then those people buy it from you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. It's just, it's just the chain of command, and when it when it leaves those people, you know where it goes, don't you? No. The federal government. Oh, okay. The federal government buys from them, and then they melt it, and they put it back down in gold American eagles or silver American eagles, and then it comes right back out on the market and is sold back to the buyers again. Well, now that's interesting. I didn't know that. You know, it's all taken from, from different forms of jewelry and different forms of silver, brought down to pure state, minted in gold coins, and resold again on the market. That's what keeps our currency rolling. That's what keeps the country going. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Does that answer your questions? It sure does. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for calling. Oh, how about that? I didn't know that. That was interesting to find that out. Never, never ending circle. Yeah. Well, that's all it is. And then it's, it gets circulated again, it comes back out here, then you, it goes back over there and you buy it. They sell it, they sell it for $30, $40 over what it's worth. 
The people hold it for a while. As it gets worth more, they come back in. They sell it again to me. I buy it $20, $30 under what it's worth. I put it in the pot. I sell it back to the smelter. Smelter goes to the federal government. Next thing you know, here it comes again. You know, it's just, it's just, it's the cycle. Well, That's why they call it recycling. For up-to-the-minute prices on gold, silver, or platinum, visit Rick's website at www.rickdavisgoldanddiamonds.com. While there, look for Rick's specials to take advantage of. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, buying gold all day, every day. Stop in and see Rick and his friendly, experienced staff at 5301 Brainerd Road in Chattanooga. While there, be sure to mention that you saw this ad on the CW and receive your CW special. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, Chattanooga's premier jewelry store. What do you want me to bring you for Christmas this year? I would like a scooter that shoots sparks, and I would like a DS, and a football, a basketball, a baseball, some diamond earrings, Xbox 360, a laptop, a go-kart, a ring and a necklace, a motorcycle, golf clubs, a cappuccino machine. Even Santa needs a little help during the Christmas season. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, buying gold all day, every day. Hi, this is Rick again, and we just want to thank you for tuning in and watching our show. We hope it's informative. We hope you've had a little fun along the way, and we hope you enjoy yourself. We try to make it as informative as we can, and we hope you tune in more often. Thanks for watching. God bless.